so in these uh, slides we we'll try to understand how this column is working okay let us start with the inlet its feed is entering from the middle of the column okay and whatever components are uh, there inside the feed we have to separate that is the purpose of this column okay so and this feed can be in the form of cold liquid or it can be a superheated vapor so whatever is entering we'll try to break it into different different components at each uh, temperature and uh, pressure stages and we'll separate it from the column that will be the output okay this kind of outputs will be there so that is our ultimate goal to get these products from this feed now let us understand what is happening once this feed is entering into the column now liquid and vapor are in counter current contact throughout the column Okay, this is the basis uh, of separating all the components from feed. Liquid and vapor, they are counter current contact throughout the column. Okay, vapors are going up, liquid is going down. They are uh, in touch throughout the column, and the required uh, components will be separated. At each distillation stage, some of the vapor moving up. Okay, some of the vapors which are moving up are condensed. And this is in turn evaporates some of the liquid. Okay, when hot vapors are moving up and liquid is moving down, they come in contact. Some part of the vapor will convert into condensate, and some of the condensate will be converted into vapor. So this is the whole process which is continuously going inside the column. Okay, and this is the basis of separating all these components at different stages. If there are two components in the feed. then a greater amount of less volatile component will condense it at each stage okay so less volatile components will start getting condensed at each stage of the process and greater amount of the more volatile component will evaporate and it will go in the upper section of the column okay so counter counter current contact vapor and condensate condensate will convert into vapor and vapor will convert into condensate condensate will start accumulating here vapors will start accumulating here and they will start interacting with each other so this is the basic of a distillation column now try to let us try to understand uh, rectifying section okay one is rectifying section another is stripping section now as we have discussed rectifying section is the name given to the stages above the feed point feed is entering here whatever portion of the column is uh, above this point that is called rectifying section and whatever is the whatever is the portion below this point is called stripping section what is happening in rectifying section the concentration of more volatile components increases in this part more volatile component will be more okay and here less volatile components will be present the stripping section is the name given to the stages below feed point where the concentration of the more volatile component decreases more volatile component will be decreased here and they will start accumulating here and lesser volatile component will be concentrated in this section so we have divided into two parts rectifying and stripping lesser volatile more volatile components now let us see how this rectifying and stripping section uh, giving the outputs Okay, if you see here, let us start uh, this overhead vapor. Uh, let us start understanding what is overhead vapor. Overhead vapor containing the most volatile components from the feed. Okay, this portion is having most volatile components, and it will go out. This will be uh, having high, higher temperature, and we will condense. We will uh, pass it through condenser. Okay, most of the cases these are the air coolers. which we keep it at uh, top tier of pipe rack in this heat exchanger cooling water is used to condensate the vapor now what is happening this hot vapor is passing through this condenser and cooling water is going inside and going coming out what is what it is doing it is decreasing the temperature of this vapor which is at very high temperature so what is happening here uh, this overhead vapor will be divided into two parts one is coming back to column and other is going out anyhow first let us understand what a condenser is doing it is cooling the overhead vapor that is the main agenda 
Similarly, what is happening here? Once it is cooled by condenser, it will uh, some part will be coming back to column and some part will be uh, coming out from this system, which will be used, uh, which is which is called overhead product. Okay, so we are getting first product from the column that is uh, one of the component of feed that we have separated. Now what is happening once this reflux is coming back to the column? The liquid from the condenser is split into two parts. The reflux is fed back to the column where it moves down the column in counter current flow with the vapor flowing up. Okay, the cooled reflux is entering back into the column and it is coming in contact with the vapor coming up and again that uh, counter current uh, process is followed again this is this will be evaporated vapors will be condensed and the same process will start here the overhead product contains liquid with the composition specified in the design of the column okay so this will be one of the product which we have extracted from this feed now the ratio of reflux flow to the overhead product if we take this amount and take this amount and we divide it reflux by overhead product that is called reflux ratio and is an important parameter in the design and operation of any distillation column okay so our main agenda was to get this product which we have uh, extracted from this okay, so this was all about the uh, upper part of uh, column how things are uh, moving around Okay, so let us uh, discuss what is happening in the stripping section here. Okay, so this section as we have already discussed, it will be having least volatile components. Okay, then this will pass through this reboiler where we are heating this liquid through steam. Okay, steam will be passed through it to heat the bottom liquid. Now again, similar process will happen. This will go back and one product will come out if you see steam is coming in vapor is coming back to column and the product is going out this is called bottom product okay so this is a, another agenda what we have to achieve so let us understand what is there bottom liquid containing the least volatile component in the feed flows from the base of the column to the reboiler okay this is going and entering the reboiler in this heat exchanger, steam is used to vaporize some of the liquid which flows back to the column in the counter flow with the liquid moving down the column. The amount of heat fed to the reboiler determines the vapor flow up the column. Okay, So again in this section if you see this liquid is coming out, vapors are coming in, again liquid and vapor will be in counter flow current. The same process will happen and uh, the liquid and vapor will start extracting from each other okay the bottom product has a specific composition fixed during the design of the column and is second product of the stream from the distillation column so this is the basic this all is the basic concept how we are getting the overhead product and how we are getting the bottom product we are using condenser here to get the overhead product and we are using here reboiler to get the bottom products Okay, so this was all about uh, rectifying section and stripping section and what is happening inside the column during the distillation process.